Let's go on and, and knock these out. Notre Dame, I did want to hit on them because I was impressed with what they were able to do, not only on offense, but with Kyle Hamilton out, I, I thought they could have some issues in this game, and they did not. They did not nope. at all. They won this game, again, 44-34. They won yards per play, 7.8, 7.6. They won drive points, 34-31. to 31. So these teams were moving the football on each other up and down the field. They won rushing. Now, this was uh, a point of contention for Notre Dame fans for basically the entire season. They have not been able to run the football. But they had 298 yards rushing to only 213. Uh, they won turnovers, one to nothing. North Carolina won yardage, 554 to 528. Uh, they... They won third downs. North Carolina did, 55-45. to 45, But the Irish tied or led the game for all but 58 seconds. North Carolina's uh, last two touchdowns came when they were trailing 31-20 to 20 and 41-27. to 27. This, was, uh, this was interesting. I had this on. There were, there were interesting moments in this game. I was not deeply invested in this one, but it was on one of the other TVs. I, I was a little shocked at how easily Notre Dame was able to run the football here. And it's not, like, obviously, North Carolina's defense, not anything to write home about, right? But Notre Dame had had issues running the football against, like, Toledo and whatnot. And this is another example of college football seasons being a living organism where you can improve week to week to week. And by the time you get to week 8, 9, 10, et cetera, yeah. Notre Dame, if it... One guy that we trust to be able to build an offensive line and build a rushing attack is Brian Kelly. I think he's one of the best offensive minds in football. Yes. Yes. What, what, what were your thoughts here? Five different touchdowns with five different guys. I mean, Cone ran one and threw one, but that's the only time that you could say somebody was credited for more than one touchdown. Thought that was pretty special. They spread the ball out. No one person had an unbelievable performance. This is the definition of a team win. At no point in time were they really in threat in this game. They can they control the line of scrimmage. You just talked about that on both sides of the football. Their defense played good. Sam Howell looks defeated. Sam Howell was a Heisman hopeful, and people thought he would be the number one overall quarterback and all this stuff. And Sam Howell doesn't look good at football right now. He I, so I I will I will argue a little bit on that. Sam Howell looks like he is having to carry the entire North Carolina football team on his shoulders. Well, hang on. How is that any different than Matt Corral? I don't think it is any different. I think Matt Corral's okay. great. But, I think Sam Howell's pretty but, good, but he doesn't have a yeah, lot of supporting one, him. But one guy's neither does neither does Ole Miss. That's I mean, right. they, have, they have far less. I think there's substantially more talent at North Carolina than there is at Ole Miss, and the quality of opponents outside of this game is far harder in the SEC. One guy is doing it, and the other guy is trying to do it. That's the difference between being a great player that could be an NFL quarterback and a guy that I don't know that I'd want on my NFL team. So, all right, so let's look at Howell's numbers really quick. Uh, 24 out of 31 passing, 341 yards, had one touchdown, one interception. He ran the ball 18 times for 101 yards and one touchdown. Without Josh Downs in this game, I mean, they would have been in a whole lot of trouble. Yep. Downs had 10 receptions for 142 yards. And right. he, he was awesome. Like, at 10, 10 receptions on 12 targets, not bad. Not bad. No, one guy. One guy. They have, they have an elite receiver. Yeah. The only uh, they, they had two other guys that ran for him. North Carolina did fifteen uh, carries for Ty Chandler for eighty three yards and two touchdowns. DJ Jones ran seven times for thirty nine yards. So everybody from North Carolina running the football averaged five point five yards per carry or more. Sam Howell, like running, passing, etc. He one he runs for his life a lot because that offensive line That's is right. not very good, That's and right. he doesn't have a ton of really good skill weapons. And it's to me. I think he, I like I like Corral more, but I don't think that Sam Howell is that far off from him. I think I you think, put him I in a good Matt situation. Corral is a lot better than him. A lot better than him. I think. Once again, I'll just I'll restate what I said, and then I'll stop talking about it. Ole Miss is worse than than North Carolina from a skill position and an offensive line position and a defense position. They're just they don't have the talent North Carolina has. The quality of opponent far superior. Far superior. One guy's doing it and the other guy's not. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, like, like that has to be a massive separation. Yeah. Okay. I can, I, I see where you're coming from. I, I'll disagree a little bit, but, uh, but I, I, I can't argue a whole lot with you. Can't argue a whole lot. 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.